Hi all, in this video I am going to show you how to create a simple web application using AngularJS. AngularJS is a JavaScript MVC framework which is mainly used to develop single web page applications. So to start with we have to include a script called as angular.min.js. It can be either download from the website angularjs.org. You can download the AngularJS file and keep in the same folder wherever HTML file is available or you can use the direct link from the ajax.googleapis.com So I am just copying and I am going to keep my script file in the head tag and AngularJS mainly extend the HTML with the new attribute called as directives all the AngularJS directives are prefixed with ng- dash. So there are basically some six directives we are going to see in this video. The first directive is ng app. This directive initializes the AngularJS application in the web page. So you can include the ng app directive in the HTML tag or in the body tag or in the specific div tag or in the paragraph tag. So now I am going to create the ng app directive. I am going to initialize to empty. So my body tag have the control of the AngularJS application. And the next directive is the ng init, which will use to initialize the data. So I am going to use with ng init. I am going to initialize the values. So I am going to initialize the name. So I am going to initialize the name to John. And now I want to retrieve the value. So to retrieve the value, we are going to use the directive called as ngBind, which will bind the value in the display. So I want to display it. I'm going to create a paragraph tag. In the paragraph tag, I'm going to use with ngBind. In the ngBind, the variable name, whatever we have given in the ng in it, we are going to bind that variable so that the value will be displayed here. So now we will save it and just run the thing in the browser. And now we got the value whatever we have initialized. Suppose you want to initialize some integer values then you can use with without simple quotes directly initialize the value. Then in the bind, you can access the value. So now the age got displayed. This is one way of displaying the value of the variables initialized in the AngularJS. There is an another way that we can use with the double curly bracket. There you have to give the variable name that need to be displayed. So we are having the value of the age variable. So there are two ways you can display the values in AngularJS. One is by using the ngBind directive or by using the double curly bracket. The next directive we are going to see is the ngModel. The ngModel directive is mainly used to bind the value of the HTML control to the application data. So now I am going to create a text box and the name I am going to create with input type is equal to text. So to identify the text box we are going to use the variable or the directive called as ng model. So I am going to give the name for the model. So to get the value of the text box whatever we have entered so we can either use ng bind or you can use with the double curly bracket to display the value the value entered so the value entered i want to get it back so i can use with a curly bracket now i need to give the variable which i have binded with the html control to get the application data. So this is one way or 
we can use with span tag and I'm going to use with ng bind give the variable name data so once I start to enter the name the value will be displayed in the double curly bracket for retrieving the value from the ng model or by using the ng bind we can retrieve the value and the next directive we are going to see is the ng controller so ng controller mainly used to define the application controller or writing the functions in the angular js application so now i want to design a simple calculator so i am going to design the first number input type is equal to text i am going to represent ng model is equal to n1 then I am going to add a next text box which is having input type is equal to text and ng model is equal to n2. I am going to add a button. So button, the button I am going to use with add. So when this button is clicked, I want to get the value from the text box 1 and text box 2 that need to be added and it need to be displayed in the result. So this is the thing I want to do it. So in order to do that first we have to create a controller. So to write the logic as a controller we need to give the app name. So I am going to give my app name as my app and along with you need to add a controller. So ng controller is equal to we are going to give a name for the controller so app name is needed and the controller name is needed so once it is done inside the head tag we are expected to write a script to start the script first we have to load the angular js module by initializing the ng app so to do that we are creating a variable we have a function called as angular dot module in that we have to give the app name followed by an optional argument so give us empty array and by using this app variable we need to initialize the controller the controller name is control and now we need to define the functions or the logics whatever we want to execute in this so now this is ready so the next thing what we have to do is we need to have an action or an event. So when the button is clicked, we want to invoke the controller. So there is a directive called as ng click. In the ng click, we need to call the function. So this function need to be defined inside the controller. So to connect the view with the controller, in AngularJS, we have a variable called as scope. So this variable bind all the data between the HTML and the JavaScript. So this is nothing but a JavaScript object which having properties and methods. So the variable whatever we declare inside the HTML that all will be accessed through this scope object. So now we need to have this scope dot the function name is add that is equal to we need to define a function so inside this function we have to write to get the value of the first text box get the value of the second text box and add together and display it in the result so to do that we need to create a first variable and one so that you need to get from the scope dot n1. So scope is a JavaScript object which binds all the values between the HTML and the JavaScript. So in the HTML, the control will be identified by n1. So that is accessed through the variable scope. Same thing, I need to get the next variable that is scope dot n2. 
So after getting the variable n1 and n2, we need to calculate the sum of two numbers. So that I need to access outside of the JavaScript. So I'm going to create a scope variable which will store the result and adding the value n1 and n2. So this variable r will be accessed outside of the JavaScript and here I am using the variable r to display the result. So just go here, enter the first value, enter the second value, click add button. We are getting the concatenation of the two outputs. As you know, the text box values are taken as string. So we need to do the conversion. So here we are using the function called as parse int converting the first value and parse int converting the second value. So once it is done, again we will give the values 10 and 20. Click the add button. We are getting the result. I hope you got a clear idea how to start with an AngularJS web application by working with a simple directives such as ng-app, ng-controller, ng-init, ng-bind, ng-model and last one is the ng-click. Thank you.